Welcome in everybody to another edition of This is the Shoot. If you, as always, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That way you always get up to date videos. Leave a comment, go check out older videos, do whatever you feel like doing after you watch this video. And you know what? If you don't agree with something I say, put it in the comments and let me know what you're thinking. We can have a discussion. Hey, think about the wonderful thing about wrestling is that there's 20,000 different opinions or different things that we like or dislike. And there's no reason why it can't be discussed among other wrestling fans to get an idea of you, you know, of open-mindedness. That all being said, I just finished up. I just finished up watching Monday Night Raw. Overall, it was a pretty solid show. It was based around Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, uh, Big E, and Kevin Owens for the day one title match. Uh, overall, I like that long-term storytelling for a show. It kind of keeps you in tune of. You knew it was going to come down to, to the final match. And you most likely knew that Bobby Lashley was going to get that victory. Um, that all being said, that's not what this video is about today. What this video is about is none other than the 24-7 championship. If you didn't know what, what I was going to talk about by looking at the title already. I think it's time that we take old Yeller and take him out back. Old Yeller meaning the 24-7 championship. Look, it's one of those sayings that when they first came out with it in 2019, it didn't get that big of a reaction. They gave it to the right person in all truth. And sure, Nakazawa's had some uh, pretty good moments with it as well. Drake Maverick. Um, you've had We've had some memorable champions or memorable moments with that championship belt. I understand it's there for entertainment purposes. Look, the 24-7 championship was never to be as prestiged as the Universal title or the World Heavyweight Championship or the Intercontinental title or the United States Championship or the Tag Team Belts or the Women's Tag Team Belts or any really any championship belt that is in the WWE right now. When you have a championship belt like that, that is just going to be defended 24-7. They tried to do this back in the day with the hardcore title back in the Attitude Era. And just like the 24-7 championship belt, it was good for about a year or so, give or take. Certain champions were better than others. And it just, but it, it makes it lose its value. It makes it lose that prestige. And I'm not saying this against any of the wrestlers that's held it. You know, the recent wrestlers that's held it, that's held it for a long term, there's been so many of them, is Reggie, and now you have uh, Diana Diana Brooks. Dana, Dana Brooks, I'm sorry, not Diana. Dana Brooks. That tells you right there how prestige the title is when you can't remember the names of the people that held it. I just watched the segment. There's still some value there as far as a comedy relief. I get it. But there's other ways you can go about bringing in that entertainment for comedy relief, especially with someone like R-Truth. It's just, it's not there no more. It's time to, to get rid of it. I know there's talks of them getting ready, yeah, the WWE wanting to get rid of this championship belt. And I believe it's time. I believe it's time for it to go away. I believe it's time for it, or, or, or change it. Do something. It's not a big focal point on any brand. It mainly stays on Raw, on Monday Night Raw's now anyway, as a filler, in case they need something. There's really nothing now. You know, has anybody benefited from holding the 24-7 championship other than our truth? Other than our truth, who, who still has a job and rightfully so. The man is co comedy gold. That's my opinion, of course. Like I said, I I was for it in the beginning, and I've given it up to this point in 2021 to see what they're going to do with it. It's time to put it down, WWE. This is a short and sweet video. So as always, go ahead and check out the rest of my videos if you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you guys feel about the 24-7 championship belt? Do you like it? Do you not like it? All that and more. Um, just leave your comments down below if you have anything you want to say. And thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later.